Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Clean Sheet Overview. I would really like an explanation on the title cause it has no correlation for the game at all. <laughs> like is it just the analogy of the score sheet or like clean shots or going to the toilet and having a clean dump like who knows. <laughs> it's definitely a weird one but I've seen some other <laughs> stars from the store. <laughs> So Clean Sheet is a good keeping arcade simulator game where you can train your skills of deflecting the balls that are served to you by other players and with whatever technique suits you, you have to prevent anyone that tries to score your goal. Now I've managed to play it yesterday, which was Monday, and it was like a graduation type of situation <laughs> from App Lab with rhyming. Problem is it was scheduled to release today, but something went wrong with the store and I managed to play the same version on the release, but before. So I essentially had time to prepare this video beforehand. Granted, the gameplay, if someone wants to see, has no audio, but I figured it didn't really diminish the experience, so I still pushed through. Just before my impressions, now I look up on the store and the price is completely different from what I had. It's more than twice more and I'm not sure why, <laughs> if it's like just priced to the official store standards, but I don't think the content changes at all. So this is definitely not a nice thing to see, <laughs> especially because inside you have other kind of like means of paying for additional features that I feel like should have been included in the package. Besides this weird ass situation, the game itself works well with the mechanics and what you essentially want with being a goalkeeper. Hitting the balls, catching them, throwing, like everything pretty much works. The graphics are pretty much like the standard sports quest ones. They're not crazy, but they're also not that pretty to look at. Problem is now, if I see this price point, it really is like lacking content then. For 20 bucks you pretty much receive the main thing with additional multiplayer and some mini games in between with trophy room and skins and that's it. So I'm not the one to judge with the worth amount of things you get but is just their politics. As I first like at least some part of football on the store, this is fine, but I'm definitely waiting for something more full-fledged. Let's go to the gameplay. What do we have here? Oh my god, you couldn't paint the wall with better textures or just... Did you just throw at me like... Hello? Oh my god, what, what? it's like, <laughs> it's so aggressive, but um, yeah, no, it's just that some textures around the walls are a bit grainy, sharp edges, but like this whole thing here, it's not nice to look at at all. I do want to enter like a tutorial, but... Train your skills, know your basics. Maybe this? Throwing, catapult, blocking, punching. Well, I don't know, like... Is there some guidance? I mean, I... Uh, Maybe something else? I can buy... Headers. What? Against powerful header shots. Why the shots are like paid extra? Oh, there's also mixed reality. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna move everywhere here. If I don't want to kill myself, essentially. And there's no artificial locomotion, so I'm just limited to my hand area, essentially.
Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm as bad as I was in school, so nothing really changed. It's like you're on the shooting range. <laughs> and it's not like they are aiming at the goal. I mean, I'm not talking about the you know, I'm talking about me. They are aiming at my face, as always. Okay, well, I'm bored. <laughs> this might be actually cool because I can adjust the size of the goal. I'm essentially in it now. Well, I mean, no, this doesn't really... It does change, but... It's illegal. <laughs> yeah, pretty much you need to have space to do it. What about... MR? I mean, this is worse. Or actually better, because I can see where I will fall. <laughs> like, the distance is just too big. There's a locker with some different skins. I'm just a little bit confused about the different art styles going on. <laughs> Cause the UI looks nice, but then the textures not so much. Maybe it's just because it's coming out from the app lab, so it has to be optimized also for Quest 1. I'll have to verify though. So pretty much shots from the head are paid, penalties are paid, free kicks. I thought I am paying for the whole application already, but doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Which is a bit weird. Huh? Like it's just different positions and angles. The AI shoots at you. Is that really worth it? This corner is just ball mechanics, it seems like. We have catapults for some reason. This might be actually relevant. But thanks for this friendscape. I'm catching with a trigger. Wow. <laughs> I mean, catching works perfectly. Doesn't matter from which angle. I can throw at him. <laughs> Okay. What could be interesting as well? This is like just the goalkeeping... Punching, I mean, yeah. This is a bit weird. <laughs> it would be nice to see... How it works. I think this is working pretty good to me, like accurate to my momentum. Considering I was always bad in football, like this is good. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> this one target. Fair enough. Catapult, I don't know, it's just like... It's a series of mini games here. The 
there's no charging, I just do the angles. I mean, this has nothing to do with the sport, nor what's really going on in this game. So it's whatever. I think that would be essentially that, cause multiplayer, I mean, it's a given, but those two modes are pretty much similar. This is just like a quick play, and this, I mean, the only thing you modify is the paid versions of shots and then the size of the goal. But the core gameplay is just goalkeeping. That's it. Which I guess is fine for the price point. Let me just set up the smallest one so I can kind of like guide here. What do you want, mate? <laughs> but as a wrap up, because I don't think we'll have anything else happening. This works fine, like, the gameplay is fairly fluid, the graphics, I mean, in the distance it's pixelated and not really detailed, but the core features are pretty much here. It's a room scale game, so... Oh, let's switch to the female team. <laughs> I don't have that much space to really... Utilize its full potential, though you can just lower the goal. Of course, your head is in it, but at least you have enough space to block most of the area. But I think overall it's fine. We didn't really have a goalkeeping application so far. Or football for that matter, so as a first one, it's like. It's okay to me. 